With the introduction of Apo Intelligence in macOS 15.1, now we can use cleanup feature that you may know from your iPhone or iPad on our Macs. So be sure your Apo Intelligence is active. We will have to open the image we want to clean up in Apple Photos. So not the preview, not the default preview, but you will need to open Apple Photos and drag in your image there so you can use all of the photo tools on it. So here it is, I drag in this image to Apple Photos and now at the top right side we got this edit option, right? There's also option for auto enhance, but let's head to edit where we can see all of the tools and also you may notice there's cleanup here. First time going to use it, it may take a bit longer. As you can see, I can now use the brush to brush over some elements I wanna remove, but also the program tried to smartly analyze the image and show me that, oh, maybe I don't want this guy here passing by. Okay, so in that case, you can just click once on the highlighted element and the program generate a new backdrop here. This one is huge, so that would be great test. Let's click on this area. And as you can see, it's gone, but it's not perfect. So I will recommend using this with rather smaller elements. Let's click reset and use the secondary option. So we're going now to brush it on. We can change the size of the brush here. I recommend to zoom in while you're using this and let's try to just remove this here. Perfect. All right. So that's how I would use it. Smaller elements that you can kind of decide for yourself. So zoom in a bit, use the brush. And in some cases, when you've got like only the like one person in the image and something in the backdrop, it will be highlighted straight away. I load a quite a chaotic picture for this test, but in many cases, you will have a case like here, like person in the backdrop, highlighted, click once, done. Alternatively, if it's not highlighted, as I just show, we can use this brush, we can paint over elements, and then the program will generate a new backdrop in this area based on the surroundings. Just like that. Take a look, we got the proper pattern here. So that's really nice. So that's how you can use AI Cleanup on your Mac. Be sure you are updated to version 15.1, activate Apple Intelligence in your settings and then load Apple Photos, not the preview, but Photos. And that's all. I hope it was helpful. See you in the next one.